What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Promised Neverland chapter 5 and last chapter we found out that um, the most recent published book that was in the library according to Ray was in 2015. So we have a 30 year time period um, where basically the demons have somehow enslaved humanity, have built these different farms. We don't know what else is happening in the outside world. Like, we don't know if there's um, one of the theories that I have, and this is based off of um, uh, one of the uh, book series that I've read that you nerdigans should read. It's called The Darkest Minds. Um, it's a trilogy by uh, Alexander Bracken, and I hope this manga goes in a similar route as uh, The Darkest Minds. This manga really kind of does remind me of The Darkest Minds and, like, the some of the shit that goes down, goes down on it. But, like, The Darkest Minds is just a little bit different. But um, what I'm hoping that happens is that I hope that the ones that they escape, and I don't know if Mama's going to escape with them. I think Mama will. I think Mama will escape with them once we get a little bit more backstory on her. And I hope um, that once once we know where we are, it'll be a little bit easier to do, because we don't know where we are in this universe. And, you know, travel around and see the, more of this universe and find out what the hell happened. So anyway, let's get to the chapter. So our map was published in 2010. What's going on in the world out there today? Seriously, what's going on out there in the world today? Like, are there pockets of humanity? Um living out in tr living out there in tribes like what's going on are there breeding farms but i i think there's breeding farms and that's how these orphans get to um this kind of farm in the first place that's my theory i don't know if you nerdigans believe that as well but anyway so emma says now that i think of it um we don't even know a thing about where in the world we are right now the outside full of the unknown and then Ray says here, since we can see that the sun rises out of the south, we must be located somewhere in the northern hemisphere. We also have four seasons, so it should be safe to assume that we're closer to the equator. Um, and then Emma says, but in the end, that's all, all we can come up with, the outside world. So I kind of think that we don't really have a lot to go off of, but I think they're in Europe. Um, they're either in Europe or they're in America. I don't think they're in Asia or anything like that. Um, but we'll see what, again, we'll, I think we'll get more clarification on where they are in the world once they leave the farm. Um, because, you know, if they travel around, like I think they're going to, and I hope we get kind of like a survivor horror kind of thing with this manga. Um, unless Shonen Jump fucking cancels it, because Shonen Jumps are, they're just fucking bitches sometimes. I'm still bitter about Bleach. Yes, I am. You can tell. Uh, anyway, um, I hopefully, well, as I was saying, when they're traveling around, we'll see some of the landmarks, um, in the area, uh, in the areas they travel, so anyway. Um, the outside world is full of demons. I want power. This is what Emma's thinking. Enough power to keep everyone safe. Checking for cameras, checking what's beyond the fence, and getting our hands on the, ro on those ropes. Like, I don't understand why they're just not using bed sheets or, or shit, a fucking tablecloth, you know, because, um, I think that where they're eating at, it's like one of those long ass tables, and with that, with one of those tablecloths, that's probably long enough for them, um, to use as a fucking rope. Don't, I don't understand that, but okay. Um, and then Ray says, I think things have been moving, uh, along quite smoothly for us so far. So what's next? And this is what Emma says. Uh-oh. Ray, Norman, Emma, Mama, why are Gilda and Don here too? What is it, Mama? Could I ask you all to help me with some chores? Uh, their silent battle continues on. Oh no, this this chapter is called She Got Us! No! Oh no! I'm scared! Oh no! This is, this could be bad! It's been three days since that night. This is bad. Doesn't this mean that she's suspecting us? Calm down. Think about it from the enemy standpoint. The enemy standpoint, no, none of the kids seem to be visi visibly shaken. If that's the case, it, is it, uh, it isn't strange for us eldest kids to be suspected first. This is nothing to be scared of. We can't let our guards down. Uh, this is uh, Norman. And I still think it's sweet that Norman loves Emma. I was just, I thought that was so sweet. But anyway, we can't let our guards down and we have to stay in higher alert than ever before. 
But don't worry, our enemy has no idea about who we are at this point. There's no need to panic. That's basically what Mama is trying to make us do. Mama's playing a fucking game with them. She's playing a psychological game with them. But anyway. Um, these two are really amazing. How can they stay so calm at, at all times? They've always been like this since the day I met them. Let's go. Oh, I see. This is what they call strategy. Observation, analysis, predicting the enemy's next move. These are um, all useful strategies. I want to be just like them. I want to catch up to them. Then Emma, just pay the fuck attention. Seriously. If you want to catch up to them and learn strategies, just pay attention. Because how they're figuring this shit out is they're paying attention to their, um, some, their environment. And they have an idea of how mama behaves. And because they have an idea of how mama behaves, because they pay attention to her behavior. And they have, they kind of ha are like thinking, she, they know that she's playing a psychological game with us. We, they know that based on, um, you know, the prior events of what has happened in the manga so thus far. That um, that's how they're basing their strategy. So it's just like, come on, Emma, really, just pay attention. There's no other option if I want to save everybody from this place. Still, what a pain in the ass. It's already day three, but all we've been doing is organize, organizing the food uh, supplies. Here's 24 clean sheets, checking every sheet in the house for damages, and cleaning up some of the unused rooms. So now she's robbing us of our only free time during the day by making us do all these random useless chores? Is she indirectly trying to make us panic by giving us no time to even think? No, she's, she's not making you panic. She just wants you to, like... Be so uh, mom, what mom is trying to do, and she's being a sneaky bitch by doing this, is by um, keeping them so occupied that they'll forget about it, what they're supposed to be doing. Either way, I can't, I still can't shake the feeling that something is off. Anyway, thank God we decided to take the extra tablecloth, tablecloth. If we had taken a bunch of extra shirts or sheets instead, we would have uh, been completely exposed by now. Thank you. They're using the fucking tablecloth. They're going to use the tablecloth as the rope. Thank Kami and Arceus. They have some common sense. They're using a fucking tablecloth as the rope. I calls it. <laughs> um, here's 24 clean sheets. Ugh, I want to play. Guys, why us? Why only us? I'm oh, sorry. What are we even getting punished for? We haven't done a single thing to, to deserve this. Don, come here, come here and help me for a second. Ugh. Come on, hurry up. In the end, we still need to figure out a way to get rid of that. We'll never get out of here if we don't on time. The transmitter. But how? As soon as we realized that we were being tracked, we all searched all over our bodies, but um, none of us could find a single scar that seems to uh, indicate that a uh, tracker was planted inside. I got a feeling that the tracker is in the tattoos. It's either in the tattoos or the or uh, their scalp. That's where I think the the tracker is. What do you nerdigans think? Where do you think nerdigans think that um, that tracker is? It's true. We even checked our clothes and our shoes, right? So I've been thinking that these transmitters, if these transmitters are really man-made, it's highly likely likely that um, they're the type that emits electromagnetic uh, waves. But from the sources uh, we have right now, I found that electronics that can do that kind of thing contain a battery that needs to be um, charged or replaced often. I did a bit of math the other night, but creating um, a tracker small enough to slip into the human body without leaving so much as a scratch that lasts over 10 years was an impossible task with the technology um, the world had back in 2015. So what are you getting at? In other words, it'll be insanely difficult to find and destroy the trackers planted in inside of us with the limited information we have right now. Hell, if the trackers are something made by those demons themselves, we're at a complete loss. I didn't think about that. Like, I was just, think uh, I was just thinking about, um, oh, but if, wait a minute, I just thought about this. If it's demon technology, what if, um, and this is just something that uh, I've read in past um, books, I'm being a book nerd again right now, um, what if it's, uh, uh, the tracker, what if it's in the tattoos, but it's not a microchip like you think it is? What if it's the actual ink itself is the actual um, uh, transmitter, the actual ink? There's a type of magic that will do that. And, um... <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the book is called off the top of my head. Crap, I can't remember. 
But there was a book that I read a while ago that, um, and it's a fa uh, mythology based mythology book, um, that um, that they that this uh, um, that this darker fae tattooed like gave a human a tattoo and he was like had her um, basically enthralled to him for and until the tattoo was gone they were basically enthralled. So I'm wondering if it's demon ink. That's the word I'm thinking of. What if it's demon ink and that's what's being used for the tracker? That's because otherwise, why would they be tattooed? You're right. In fact, there's um, actually a higher probability that the trackers were indeed made by demons. What? Aren't we super screwed? Yep, we totally are. It's hopeless. If only we had an x-ray machine or something, eh? Well, we don't know uh, much, but we could still brainstorm. And this is uh, Norman that's saying this. If we think hard enough, there must be a way, as long as we find a way to do something about these transmitters. At most, all we'll have left to do is outsmart Mama alone, although that's still quite a presumptuous thing to attempt and get us all out of here. Think, our enemies aren't idiots. From their perspective, where would be the most logical place to transmit, uh, to plant a transmitter in our bodies? Where? What would it even? We have too little information to work with. Agree. But we still have to find a way to, no matter what, there's got to be a way to there's got to be a way to find and destroy these trackers. Perhaps Mama seems so re relaxed because she knows that we run against the, um, these kinds of walls. Look at her. Doesn't it bother you? Every minute is so precious. Uh, every minute is precious. She may be indirectly threatening us in all kinds of ways, but Mama should also know the value of every second. I'm not sure how to put this, but everything she's done so far is really vague. You mean it's, and this is Ray, you mean it feels like she's not even trying to find us? Exactly. The trackers can't identify who each of us are. We may be suspected as individuals, but there's no way to prove that our that those suspicions are true. You would think if it was, with this demon technology, they would make it, like, more, um, more individual, individual-esque. But the thing is, and this is why I keep thinking it's the ink itself. Because if it, because the ink... If it's demon ink, and I'm just calling it demon ink, if they're using demon ink to for the transmitters, just think about it this way. It wouldn't be individual. First of all, it wouldn't be individualized. Um, just the numbers would be individualized on the kids, just to identify them. But like a, to for on a tracker, you wouldn't be able to um, identify the individual numbers. So, all right, yeah. So the trackers can't identify who each of us are. We may be su suspected as individuals, but there's no way to prove that those suspicions are true. So in that case, Mama should be fretting to find out who we are as soon as possible. So why doesn't it seem like she is? What in the world is on her mind? Mama, our mother, our teacher. All right, children, you're free to work together. Discuss amongst yourselves if you, um, you'd like and come at me um, with all you got. The one who taught us and raised us. Something just doesn't feel right, and I hope I'm just overthinking things. Usually mama is, usually mama, mama is more, hey, quit slacking off. You're the oldest kid here. It doesn't, it looks like you haven't done um, a thing since, uh, since we left. Sorry, sorry. Let's hurry up and get this all over with. Ugh, are we going to have to do this again tomorrow? Hey, mama, when will Emma and the others be done with their chores? I want to hurry up and play with Emma. I want to play with Norman. Don't worry, today is the, their last day of helping me around. Huh? She got us! Let me introduce uh, introduce them. This is uh, Carol, one of your new siblings. The person next to me is Sister Crone. She's uh, here to help me out with the chores around the house. An adult? Oh my god, there's another adult! Okay, what do you think the second adult is here for? Do you think the demon sent the second adult because they're suspicious of Mama? Because remember of that theory that we that I had a while ago, uh, a couple chapters ago, that Mama might um, double cross the demons and help them escape. I don't know if that's going to be possible now with this bitch here. Isn't it a little bit too early for the new baby to come? Could I ask you all to help me with some chores? We've taken notice, taken note of the tracker she showed us. We've made sure to act normally so that she didn't, she wouldn't find us out. In fact, we were so focused on those two things that we never even thought that the number of adults might increase. Threatening the chores, all of it was still a mere, all of it was mere stalling and preparation for this. We haven't been found out. We didn't react when she selected a few of us to do chores during free time. Norman and Ray both immediately saw through her plan to see how we'd react. 
And yet, could it be that Mama presumed even that would hap even even that would happen, and decided to distract us for the time being, only to drive us into a corner later? Checkmate. How? It's like you knew all of our plans from the start. Fufu, of course I knew. I'm your mother, after all. Oh, man. I love how they have the chessboard there. I love this, I love this imagery with the chessboard. Because that's how it really is. Because this is just a fucking game. Sister Crone? Ah, yes. Despair arrives. I will be living... Um, I'll be living with here... I'll be living here with all, um, with, uh, all of you starting today. Nice to meet you. That is just eerie, because look at that, that panel. She's got to be a fucking demon. There's no way around it. She's got to be a demon. So Sister, Sister Crone is a fucking demon. Sister Crone is a demon. And this is why I'm thinking that the, that the demons believe that Mama was going to double cross them. That's why they sent Sister Crone here. So now they have a demon. Um, so, oh man, this is going to make things so much harder now. So how do you think the de how how do you think they're going to escape now? Cuz I thought that Mama was going to double do you think do you not even think Mama's still going to double cross the demons? Like what do you think is going to happen with that? And like Sister Crone Sister Crone is obviously a demon based on this fucking panel. But do you, where do you think she plays in all this? Do, do you think she's just, I think, I kind of think she's a spy sent from the demons because she had a feel, because the demons kind of had a feeling something was going on with Mama and they, maybe the demons caught on that, that Mama was going to double cross them or maybe this is, or this could just be insurance. I don't know. What do you know to think about, about uh, Sister Crumb's appearance? Because God, she is fucking creepy, especially with that, panel with the uh, with the demon behind her oh man man I, i'm like where do you think she came from because it doesn't say hold on let me just double check something here Hold on. do you know what i can think mama busted them and figured their plan out because uh, that's what because Ray did say that this is it's too early for a new baby to arrive or do you think this is or do you think this is something to do again have something to do with um mama or the demons getting suspicious of mama double crossing the demons so I think it has more along the lines with mama possibly double crossing the demons more than um Ray uh Norman and Emma to be honest because like why would these demons care if Ray, Norman, and Emma escape? Because they can always just re um, replenish and resupply the kids. Maybe the reason why the baby showed up sooner is because they have a feeling that something is going to happen. And they want to make sure they have plenty of supply. That's just another thought. But anyway, this chapter was really interesting. Like, this game is is just, oh, God. But what, what do you think about where the tracker is? I think it's in the tattoos. And I think it's demon technology with the ink. That's what I think. Because otherwise, why would you have them branded like that? Yeah, they're considered livestock. But they don't. the kids don't know that they're considered livestock. Yeah, they don't. But anyway, um... This manga is getting really twisted. But anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Also, make sure you um, follow me on Twits and Twitch and friend me on PlayStation Network. And if you want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. Um, expansion, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could either donate to um, the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!